there, right? Hmm? So you are also get user. This is an important one. This is an important one. Now I have a question for you guys. Which API do we use to get the current logged in user information in the client side? G underscore user dot user. Glide user API. Glide user API can be accessed using G underscore user. In the client side, if you want to get the current logged in user information, we will use Glide user API. So same way in the server side, if you want to get the current logged in user information, we will use Glide system API. Inside the Glide system, you will use GS dot get user dot get name okay so get display name so current logged in user get uh, current user current logged in user display name is what system administrator right not able to trust system administrator so system administrator name will be populated so if you want to get the system id of the current logged in user you have to use get id which will actually give you the current logged in user system system id so in the client side, if you want to get the current logged in user system ID, you will use G underscore user dot user ID. But in the server side, if you want to get the current logged in user information, you will use GS dot get user dot get ID or you can use GS dot get user ID. Directly you can use GS dot get user dot get ID or GS dot get user ID. Both you can use. So get user display name directly it will actually get you the current logged in user display name so like able tutor system administrator who is the current logged in user now system administrator right it will give the system administrator name so get user id system administrator system id get get user name login name admin so that is what we will actually get so here right this is actually an object get user is actually an object So from this, from this, let us say if you want to get email as well, so you can actually get email as well. Okay. So get a department, you can get a department as well. Okay. This is actually an object, user object. User object in the sense, you can get any value. Let us say, if he is contractor or not, you want to get. So I, what you can do, get record. From this record, what you want, contractor, right? So whether current logged in user is contractor or not, I want to check. So did you guys understand how do we get the current logged in user information in the server side? Everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. What is it telling? So have this handy guys, this will be useful. I'm just pasting on the chart, have this handy, which will be useful for current logged in user details. See gs.getuser.get location, gs.getuser.get domain ID, get language, get company record, get company ID, get department ID, get email. So this is actually used to Get the current logged in user, get first name, last name, email, system ID, display name, company record. So this is actually is used to get the current logged in user information details, manager ID. If the current logged in user has how many groups? Current logged in user has how many groups you want to check? 
okay if the current logged in user is member of any particular group or not you want to check then also you can check using gs.get user okay i have to use this line as well is giving zero zero means false one means true zero means false one means true if you take a look at here from the user record whatever the value that you want you can actually get it using gs dot get user dot get record dot get value and that particular field name you have to provide here if you go to the user record current logged in user record let me just change the view as default view so i want to get the login time current logged in user login type so from the current logged in user record whatever the value that you want you can actually get it using user object gs dot get user object okay see whatever is the date you see here same date it, it has printed or not you want to get the last login time in short like uh, we can use all uh, it's alternative for glide user right uh, yes so see we cannot say it is alternative for glide user see this is the last login time okay as sauro for your question using glide user you can get the current logged in user information on the client side which is fine but using glide user you can get first name last name full name first name last name full name system id username and you can get the current logged in user roles whether he has particular role or not we can check but here for this for this glide system we have an ability to get any value from the user object did you get what i mean little bit Huh? Out of this record, out of this current logged in user record, whatever the value that you can get using this user object. So gs dot get user dot get record dot get value. So here you can see, you can get, uh, you can also check if the current logged in user is member of any particular group or not. So I want to check whether current logged in user is member of application development group or not. I want to check whether current logged in user is member of cab approval group or not. What I do here. Get user dot. Is member of. Here what we will do. So cab approval. So I am checking whether the current logged in user is member of cab approval group or not using this line of script.
So it is saying false. He is not a member of 